I hope you got a glimpse of the school where we belong to. So now I would like to invite my different champions to introduce themselves one by one. Hi everyone. My, my. Hi everyone. My name is Jordan. Last second, I studied Kitan Public School. I love cycling. Hello everyone, I am Aksha in grade 2 from Kitan Public School, India. I love to dance. In the beginning of the session, I was extremely sad to know that the school will not reopen due to pandemic. But the online classes made me happy. Good afternoon teachers and friends. I am Arif Kansal, a grade 2 learner and a Kitanian. And Hello friends, myself Raghu Bansal. I am from India. I study in Kitan Public School in Great and my hobby is to do drawing and I am very happy to be the part of this event. Daksh, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi friends, uh, my name is Daksh, Daksh Pandita. I'm from grade 2, Ketan Public School, 2nd D. And my hobby is cycling. So thank you so much for introducing yourselves so nicely. So uh, now, sir, you may take the lead. Please continue our MC for today. Great. Now we are happy to know each other. Let us move on to presentation slide. Let me welcome SABK Mahaya Dinia Islamia to present the fabulous presentation. Okay. Where's our Arif? Uh, Arif Fikri, are you ready? Hello. Okay. Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And a very good day to everyone. Before we begin, we would like to introduce a little bit about our school. We are from SBK Mahat Ahya Dinia Islamia, Kampung Gajah, in the state of Perak, Malaysia. We are government aided Islamic secondary school and we have around 270 students in this school. The presenter today are all from two students and we are very happy to share with you some of the interesting and popular food in Malaysia. As for today's session, we are going to present to you on five popular Malaysian dish, namely nasi lemak, rendang, satay, and laksa. We hope you will enjoy the presentation. For the first dish, it which is nasi lemak, I will present to you. Hello and hello and hi everyone. I am Arif Fikri and I will explain to you about the most popular Malaysian which is nasi lemak. If we translate the word nasi and lemak, it will become fat and rice. It sounds unhealthy, right? However, there is no other dish in Malaysia as, as nasi lemak. It consists of rice cooked in coconut milk that is traditionally served with anchovies, cucumber, peanut, and boiled eggs. 
The dish is rounded up with the addition of spicy chili paste called sambal. Although originally invented as a breakfast dish, currently Malaysian eat nasi lemak in any time of the day. Some, st some stalls sell nasi lemak in the midnight and people are still looking for it. So now it is no longer a breakfast meal. It has turned into an all-day favorite for all Malaysian. Some street vendors modify this dish by serving nasi lemak with fried chicken, and some serve this this dish with rendang. What is rendang? My friend will explain about it in in other slide. In Camera Highland, they even serve this nasi lemak with strawberry mixed chili paste. Eventually, the dish became a comfort food staple for the majority of Malaysians. It is traditionally served hot and packed in banana leaf. You can find this, this meal as cheap as one Malaysian ringgit. The street vendor and expensive as 10 ringgit Malaysian per plate in a restu restaurant. Okay, now let's move uh, to our next presenter who is going to talk about lemang. Please welcome Jainatul Kistina. History recorded in as early as 1894, lemang has become a special dish in this peninsula. Lemang or rice bamboo is a traditional dish that is believed to have originated in Indonesia. But it is found in many Southeast Asian countries such as Malaysia, Brunei and Singapore. Hi everyone. I am Janatul Kistina and I am going to talk about lemang. How to cook it? Well, it is made with sticky rice, coconut milk, optional flavorings and salt, which are combined and then cooked in a bamboo tube over an open fire. In the bamboo, we have to put banana leaves as well to make it easier for us to Take the lemang out of from the bamboo. Cooking takes some time from five to six hours as we need to make sure the rice in the bamboo are well cooked. Some people try to modernize the way to cook lemang. They steam the sticky rice on the stove, but it, but it turns out to be a steam sticky rice, not a lemang at all. Lemang is traditionally eaten on the first day of Shawwal, thing months of Ramadan. For some, it is also served during wedding as well as during other festive and celebration. Nowadays, there are also street vendors selling lemang. It is typically served with rendang. Rendang again, just now, you heard that Malaysians eat nasi lemak with rendang. Now, Lemang. Well, after this, you will hear what is rendang. In order to present about rendang, I will pass the floor to Akmal Shahi. Please welcome. If India is famous with its curry, Malaysia is famous with its rendang. Hi everyone. Akuma is here, and I am going to share about rendang. Rendang is rich and tending coconut chicken stew, which is a soggy, flavorful, and thicker rendang is the most popular rendang. This dish is famous for its spiciness and I and a long cooking procedure. Rendang is a traditional Malayan dish and a variety of rendang prepared with chicken as the key ingredient. Other ingredients used for rendang are young, include 
lemon juice, lemon grass, strawberry, coconut milk, sugar, salt, oil, and a spice paste. Consider of the ground soles, garlic, red chili pepper, garanga, ginger, and coriander. The chicken pieces are seasoned and cooked with the spicy, spicy spice paste. Later, cook in coconut milk. The dish is simmered until the soil is almost fully evaporated and stick to the milk. Once done, chicken rendang is typically accompanied by the steam white rice on the side. In other occasions, Malaysian with it will eat rendang together with nasi lemak and during it which is the celebration after the fifteen month of Ramadan. Lemak is served with rendang. You remember the mang, right? It is sticky rice cooked in the bamboo tube. Okay, now they move on to our next meal, which is satay. My friend Hosnina Kamaria will proceed with the next presentation. Please welcome. Another traditional Malaysian dish, satay, is a marinated chicken or beef which is grilled to tender. The marinade is the most important part of the recipe. The best satay are marinated with lots of spices and ingredients such as the following. Lemongrass, garlic, shallots, turmeric powder, coriander powder, chili powder, shark and sugar. Mix the chicken meat with the marinade overnight to ensure that every sequel is bursting with robust flavors. Satay is very healthy as the spices used in the marinade have a lot of nutrients and health benefits. For example, turmeric. Satay are best served with peanut sauce, sliced cucumber and fat and onions. The cucumber and onion are eaten raw. There's two vegetable function to counter back the fats consumed while eating the meat. Healthy isn't it? In Malaysia, rice cakes or ketupat are common to be served together with satay. The rice cakes are cut into bite-sized cubes for serving. The peanut sauce is primarily made with peanuts, dried chili peppers, garlic and palm sugar. But the full recipe differs from one eatery to another. That's all from me. Let's listen to the last one for today, which is laksa. Are you ready to listen to Amelia on laksa? Let's go. Okay, Amelia, are you good to go, Amelia? Okay, so um, maybe we cannot, uh, because uh, Amelia le uh, lives in a place where the internet connection is not very good. However, we have recorded her voice for the presentation. So I hope that you can hear the voice, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this part, this part. So actually, it's not audible. So can you, can, can you hear the, the, the oh. sound or not? Yeah, now it's yeah, fine. Do you hear me? Can you hear me? The perfect gesture. Oh, it's okay. Uh, wait, wait. We have Amelia. We have Amelia with us. Amelia, are you here with us? Amelia. Amelia. 
Emilia, can you read the, the, the part or you, I just can ask somebody else to read the part for you? Okay, so um, in order to uh, guys, the rest of you, do, do you have the script with you? Can you read uh, Amelia's part? Because maybe her internet connection is not very stable. So maybe somebody else can uh, read her part. So uh, I can read okay, the so, part. Uh -huh. Okay, Jonathan Christina will read uh, Amelia's part. Okay. okay. May I start? Yeah, can. The perfect blend of spicy, <laughs> sweet, savory, and umami flavors, laksa is a popular Malaysian street food originating from the northwestern state of Penang. This healthy noodle soup is made with poached mackerel or sardines, tamarinds, lemongrass, and chili peppers as the base ingredients. Hi everyone, I am Janatul Kistina again and I will talk about laksa. Laksa is a noodle dish that is quietly gaining popularity globally because of its scrumptious taste. To most people outside of Malaysia, laksa generally means fresh, gravy laksa. Mackerel fish are used to the main ingredient in the gravy. The truth is, there are many different types of laksa, but the two dominant ones are Perak laksa and Pinang laksa. We also have the following variation of laksa. One, laksa Johor, eaten with spicy gravy. Two, laksa Kelantan, eaten with thick gravy made from fish. Three, laksa Pinang, eaten with coconut milk mixed with curry. Laksa also the same ingredients with other variants of laksa from other states in Malaysia, but with more local herbs and vegetables such as the daun selom, ulam raja, and pucuk gajus. While the pinang laksa is usually spicy, the original laksa is milder in taste. Those who want some kick in their laksa can add in some bird's eyes chilies. Other commonly used garnishes include ginger flower buds, fat pineapple, onions, mint, and shrimp paste. But regardless of all the specific recipes, the result is always a rich and strong flavor dish that has earned the adoration of both locals and travelers alike. What makes laksa stand out from the rest is its use of mackerel or sardines, normally fresh from the fishing village. Couple that with garnishing of coconut sambal, chopped chilies, brown paste, and cashew nut leaf. And you get a laksa that packs a hard sourish punch. That's all from me about laksa. We hope someday you will get the chance to be here and test these five Malaysian popular dishes while staying in Malaysia. Nasi lemak, rendang, satay, and laksa are just a few Malaysian dishes that you need to try. We actually have more than this. From Medi, we thank all for you for listening. Okay, thank you. Give yourself a big round of applause. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, MC, please continue. <laughs> Janatul Kistina, you have to continue as well after this. Okay. Uh, who, who's going? Uh, Kusina Camilla, you're right. Okay, good. That was great. Well then, are there any questions? Okay, is there any question about the five food that we presented? 
Actually, I don't have a question as such, but I would really like to share that you have presented it so nicely. Like I could make some connections because we do have Sati uh, here ah, in India wow. as well. <laughs> like I have tasted one, but I wasn't aware that its origination is from Malaysia. So thank you for sharing that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's no question, I guess. So can we proceed? Camilia? Okay. Now, let me welcome students from Kaitan Public School to carry on with their presentation. Thank you so much, ma'am. So now I'll share my screen and uh, I'll ask my uh, champions to, you know, take the lead. Our country India is a huge and beautiful land full of wonder which is known for its diverse culture tradition. There are many aspects as to what makes India unique and one principle in particular is its food. Indian food is different from rest of the world, not only in taste but also in cooking methods. It is like a perfect blend of various culture and ages. Who of India? Be it North India or South India? Spices are used generously in food, and that is why it is known the heart and soul of Indian cooking. But one must not forget that every single spice used in our Indian dishes carries some or other nutritional as well as medicinal properties. So today, we the Khetanians will take you on a journey of Indian food. To begin with North India, we have Punjab, the land of five rivers. And people of Punjab are known for the variety of food that they eat. If we talk about the local food of Punjab, it has an enormous variety of mouth-watering, vegetarian as well as non-vegetarian dishes. One such vegetarian dish is sarsu kasag and makki kiroti, which people prefer to eat during winters. The sag is made from mustard greens, sarsu and spices, and bread roti is made from corn meal. The bread is topped with scoop of white butter. Now let me share about one of my favorite North Indian dish, which is tandoori chicken. It is a chicken dish prepared by roasting chicken marinated in yogurt and spices. In a tandoor, a cylindrical clay oven, it is buttery and delicious. North Indian food is incomplete without lassi. Now you must be wondering what lassi is. It is a popular traditional yogurt based named lassi. It is a blend of yogurt, water and spices. Sometimes fruit. It is usually creamy like a milkshake. Now I would like to invite Aksha to share some local food of East. Friends, we got to know some of the delicacies of North. Now, let me share a glimpse of Eastern dishes, which are quite different from what we get to eat in North India. The state which I am going to talk about is Sikkim, and it is an Eastern state. It has people of different culture and traditions. If you want to know Sikkim and its culture, then you must try its local dishes. It has some delicious mouth-watering food that ranges from sweet and salty to spicy and sour. There are so many dishes people eat here every day. But I would like to share a few of the most popular food items of Sikkim. The first one is being momos. 
Wow, yummy! You can say that pomos and sikkim are complementary to each other. In sikkim, you will be served the best momos that you have ever had in your entire life. They are basically steamed dumplings made of flour dough and fillings. The fillings could be meat of different kinds or mixed vegetable. It is served with hot chili sauce. Another favorite chicken is phalle, which is a wonderful dish of Tibetan origin. It is somehow similar to momos, but bigger, not steamed, but fried. It is crispy on the outside and juicy on the inside. They are made out of flour dough and fillings, such as ground beef, boneless chicken, or mixed vegetables. It is then shaped in semicircles. Cup is a unique dish which is a deep fried pastry. It is mostly eaten and made on occasions and on Tibetan weddings. It is, it, they are shaped in beautiful different shapes and sometimes colors are also added to make it look appealing. Just one steak and you get lots of dishes to eat. Isn't that great? Now, I would like to invite my friend Arav to share lo more local food of another state. Now, after we have gained some knowledge about the East, let's move towards the South of India. I will be sharing the local food of Tamil Nadu state. Tamil Nadu is famous for its deep belief that serving food to others is a service to humanity. It's a state where you will find a combination of vegetarian as well as non-vegetarian dishes. From tamarind pulp to coconut to red chilies, everything used in Tamil cuisine creates an unforgettable taste on our palate. So friends, the food which we get in South is very different from North India. It is richer in spices, seafood and vegetables. My two favorite Tamil dishes that I enjoy eating the most are dosa and payasam. You know what? Dosa is nothing but a crispy, crunchy, thin golden rice pancake. It is usually served with hot and tangy sambar and coconut chutney. I'm sure another dish is a mouth-watering dessert called payasam, which is a pudding. Payasam is a key-like dessert, which is used, which is made from coconut chagri and uh, rice. It is very yummy, delightful. And scrumptious. I'm sure that you would like to taste their local food whenever you travel to India. Now, I would like to invite my friend Raja to share some news on the West India. Hello, everybody. Today, let us talk about Rajasthan. The name itself has Raja meaning emperor in it and he loads about how royal the place is, its people and its style. So today, let us dive into the local food of Rajasthan. Now, I will give introduction of food. Cooking in Rajasthan is more unique than any other region in India because of the unique ingredients available there. The lifestyle of the people influenced them to prepare food in such a way so that it could last several days and could be eaten without heating. Usage of dried berries and leaves cooked with milk, curd and spices are till date one of the most favored food of the Rajasthani people. Gram, Bajra and corn are some commonly used pulses in Rajasthan and are used in other states for preparation of rabdi, 
खिचड़ी एंड रोटीज ये से जब वाइल्ड एनिमल्स सच एज रैबिट एंड डियर एक्सेट्रा वर वेरी कॉमन इन राजस्थानी क्यूजीन नाउ आई विल शेयर सम फेमस लोकल फूड ऑफ राजस्थान फर्स्ट इज दाल बाटी चूरमा इट इज द नेशनल डिश ऑफ राजस्थान इट इज मेड विद दाल बाटी और व्हीट रोल्स व्हिच इज पाउडर्ड व्हीट बॉल्स सेकंड लाल मांस it is one of the best non vegetarian dish in rajasthan it is a mutton curry prepared in a sauce of curd and hot spices and you know if rajasthani thali is incomplete without any dessert one of the dessert is khewar it is a disc shaped sweet cake which is made with maida and later on soak in sugar syrup it is of different varieties like plain ghevar mawa ghevar and malai ghevar i love plain ghevar if there is a festival in rajasthan it is incomplete without the ghevar and i know everybody will love ghevar so please have it now i like to invite my friend daksh to speak some local food about maharashtra Thank you, Raga. Now I am going to tell you about Maharashtra, which is in the western region of India. It includes the major cities of Mumbai, Pune, Nashik, and Nagpur. Maharashtrian food is truly unique, with major ingredients such as wheat, rice, jowar, and bajra. Now I'm going to tell you about a well liked and famous fast food vada pav vada pav is made by mashing boiled potatoes with green chilies ginger garlic and lime juice then dipped in gram flour batter and deep fried it is served with green chilies green chutney and green chilies another fast food that i am going to talk about is bel puri Now you must be wondering what bel puri is. It is made by puffed rice, papri, sev, sev, onions, potatoes, and raw mango. It is served with sweet and sour chutney. Now at the last, I am going to tell you about the traditional food, thali peet. Hmm, yummy. Is it is made from mixed multigrain flour, onion, coriander, and chili powder. It is served hot with curd or pickles. Thank you, everyone. Now over to Raghav. So, friends, we hope that you enjoyed our presentation. And if you get a chance to visit our country, India, please have these local delicacies. And I would also thank each one of you for being such a wonderful audience. Thank you. Okay, just one thing. Uh, was my presentation visible? Because I could see that the screen sharing wasn't done. Um, we can see the screen, but it's actually the screen of you and your students only. We cannot see after a few presenters, then we cannot see the slides. But Ooh. but that's fine because we can see all these kids presenting, and the the sound is very clear. So even though without the 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 visual just now, we can uh, visualize the the scrumptious food that you presented to us. Okay, and I'm very eager to see the food in front of us. Okay, once, uh, once a lifetime, maybe one day we'll go to India and try all those food. <laughs> yeah, but actually, I don't know. But the screen is free, uh, like frozen. I cannot see anything here. Maybe you can and just stop, stop, stop sharing, and then we so can just uh, proceed. It hasn't started actually. I, I am. It is already stopped. Ah, okay, because. Um, um, Because we can see, we can see you. We can see you. Okay, wait. Hold. Maybe uh, because I didn't share my screen. So uh, okay. What What can you see now? I can. Okay, guess somebody has. Uh, 
OK, now I can see the screen. Now I can see the, 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 the PowerPoint. Ah, uh, OK. OK. <laughs> Extremely sorry for the confusion that we had. It's okay, it's okay, but, but that's good. Your your kit presented very, very nice, very well. So we can imagine and visualize all the food that you presented to us. Okay. Okay, yeah, okay. Our, our MC, okay, next. Are there any questions? <laughs> Is there any question from you, my kids? My, my students, do you have any question or do you want to say anything? No. No, why no? You should ask. Okay. So, because maybe they are shy, maybe they are a little bit shy to, to ask questions, but uh, all in all, based on what I've seen just now, from the images, from the, from the visual that you have shared with us, some of the food actually you can find in Malaysia as well, maybe because uh, some Malaysian have Indian descendant. So we have, for example, the tandoori chicken just now that you showed to us. So we have in Malaysia, uh, in a North uh, Indian uh, restaurant in Malaysia, and we eat uh, tandoori chicken with naan bread. I'm sure that you know naan bread, right? Okay, so yeah, so we eat uh, with naan bread. And also the, the fale, fale just now, right? Not mistaken, yes. pronunciation. Okay, uh, we also have that in, uh, that in Malaysia. It, it, it is called as curry puff. So maybe because inside there you have these uh, curry spices and uh, what you have potatoes and so on. So it's called as curry puff. Uh, but all in all, that's, that's how beautiful the world is, even though we live in different countries but actually we can see some similarities in the food that we consume every day okay so that's this wonderful uh, presentation um i'm giving back the floor to my my uh, mc okay well we are coming to the end of this collaboration i would like okay. to i would like to get the teachers or students to have final words about this great collaboration. Thank you. Okay, so, so I've said something. Maybe you, Madam Chitu, you have something to say about this collaboration. So first of all, I would like to thank you, sir, and your students. You all have presented it so nicely, and I am pretty sure that my students must have learned something from it. I could figure out that they were trying to make connections initially that this is a dish which we have also tasted in our country, India. So thank you so much for sharing it wonderfully. And it was such a good experience. Kids, would you like to share something? Anyone, Aksha, how was your experience? Would you like to share? Um, my, my experience was awesome. <laughs> it was awesome. Great. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Raga, would you like to share your experience with them? How is it? I love the laksa dish. You love the laksa, right? <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Great. Good, Good to you know that. You can pronounce the word laksa very well. <laughs> so if you visit Malaysia, you can have it. Yeah, come over and we can, we can taste the laksa. We have Americans <laughs> of Lhasa in Malaysia. <laughs> Variety of Lhasa in Malaysia. Okay. Um, Mr. Haswan, you and your students really did a very good, I mean, very great, I mean, in-depth preparation. And especially the way you put the word Lhasa. <laughs> L-U-C-K. I think that's the reason why Raghav uh, picked up the word so fast, you know. So you are so creative, you know. I have no words to describe about your creativity in this matter. And it gives a kind of ideas for us to, you know, to do something different in our slides. Yeah, it's one of the techniques that you have taught me, in fact. And uh, Situ, you have done a great job with your students. My first impression, you know, because I was juggling between two devices, and suddenly I look at them like, what? <laughs> I thought they are from my country because like Chigo, uh, Mr. Aswan say, we have Indian descendants and I'm also one of the Indian descendants root. So I was like, Mr. Aswan, you did this? I was thinking. <laughs> so, I mean, they're so colorful. They're so, I mean, so cute. 
How old are they? <laughs> yeah, just six to seven years old, ma'am. Oh my goodness! Six to seven years old. Okay. <laughs> One, four, seven four. years old, and they can handle heavy tags. This has one. Seven years old, they were just practically talking about some heavy things, you know. I noticed yes. that with such fluency and <laughs> my goodness. So you should uh, bring them to collaborate uh, yearly so we can see their progress, you know. Yeah, sure thing, sure thing. My yeah, kids are getting excited so as well. <laughs> Which part of India are you from? Ma'am, we are from uh, Ghaziabad, Uttar Pradesh. Uttar oh, Uttar Pradesh. Pradesh. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Well, my goodness, no words to describe, Mr. Azwan, your collaboration with uh, Miss Sidhu and the students. It's so cute. You have taken pictures, right? Because my phone hang, you know, 20, almost 18 hours taking photos, <laughs> videos, photos. Now it's already towards the end. I can't do anything. I just took screenshot. <laughs> screenshot. So, Mr. Azwan and Sidhu, please share your, you know, the pictures in uh, social media and tag us, you know. Uh, I think Ms. Azwan is aware of what it is. Sidhu, you can send a friend request and then so you can share and tag. Yeah, they're so cute. And your students also, Ms. Azwan, how old are they, your students? Uh, mine are all 14 years old. They are from Form 2 students. Form 2, oh, okay. Yeah. They managed to tone down according to these young kids, you know. That's yes. very good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I need to share something. When foreign educators already chosen the slots, and local educators also, I'm in the position of asking them to choose the slot. But, you know, I was trapped in between where the students age, like Mr. Has one, 14 years old and yours is young, seven years old. What will be the teacher's interpretation, whether I'll be caught into trouble or what? I was so worried, you know, but then I just gamble. I said, I told our local educators and foreign educators, just accept them, just cultural exchange. And, and you have proven as one of the most, I would say, examples. <laughs> Very good collaboration. And Mr. Azwan, well, I didn't think so. You feel that uh, you're collaborating with younger students, you know, mm -hmm. and the students feel like, oh, I'm collaborating with young ones. No, I don't think so because I see the flow was there. You all yeah. really like chatted as if they're in the same age group, you yeah. know. So uh, that's the thing. I feel so blessed. I feel so blessed that this problem doesn't arise. Yeah. So, can we take a photo, Mr. Azwan? Can, can. So, yeah. make sure everybody just... Speak, I just hope you have taken quite a number of photos. The camera, so uh, they Maybe can... together mode. Mr. Azwan, try to take together mode, if you can put everyone into picture. Together mode, together mode. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in. I can ah, do okay, this. Mr. Oh, yeah, Mr. Rahim. Good, good. Mr. Rahim, Mr. Rahim. Is here. he's here, okay. On your camera, look at the colorful kids. Yes, yes, they look on the camera so that we can see your yeah. face. Okay, <laughs> all right, right, okay. all right, smile. and three, two, one, smile. Oh, all love. right, okay, okay, one, love. Wait, 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 one more, one we more, one more, victory sign, all of you. Okay, one more, one more. We're going to do one more. All right, three, two, one, smile. All right, thank you. Yeah, we will compile all this collection and share with all the educators. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's going to be in Wakeler collection and quite a number of plannings we have. Yeah, thank you so much. You're so colorful. Wow. <laughs> As uh, we are gearing towards the end, and this is wonderful. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> yeah, bye bye. Okay, bye bye. Thank uh, you very much. Luckily, Mr. Thank Rahim you came on time see to you. see the colorfulness. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> so, Mr. Rahim.